Pepsi is one of the most famous companies in the world today and is almost famous for its never-ending battle with rival soft drink companies such as Coca-Cola. From its humble beginnings over 125 years ago in a North Carolina drugstore, PepsiCo has grown into a multi-brand soft drink producer and has acquired several beverage and fast food companies. Pepsi inventor. Pharmacist Caleb Bradham of New Bern, North Carolina, invented the original formula for what would become Pepsi Cola in 1893, and, like many pharmacists at the time, set up a soda showcase in his pharmacy, serving drinks he made himself. His most famous drink was what he called Brad Drink, which is a mixture of sugar, water, caramel, lemon oil, cola nut, nutmeg and other additives that are the main ingredients of Pepsi. As the drink spread, Bradham decided to give it a quick name, eventually settling on Pepsi Cola. By the summer of 1903, he had trademarked the name and was selling this soda to drugstores and other vendors from stores and warehouses throughout North Carolina. By the end of 1910, Distributors were selling Pepsi in 24 states. Initially, Pepsi was marketed as a digestive aid, then consumers were attracted under the slogan Appetite, Revitalize, Aid Digestion. But as the brand boomed, the company changed its tactics and decided instead to use the power of celebrities to promote Pepsi rather than woo people about its benefits. In 1913, the company appointed Barney Oldfield the famous racing driver of the era, as its advertising face. Best known for his catchphrase drink Pepsi Cola. Make you happy, and because of the idea's success, the company would continue to use celebrities to attract buyers in the coming decades. Pepsi Cola bankruptcy after years of success, Caleb Bradham lost Pepsi Cola in a deal in which he bet on fluctuations in sugar prices during World War I believing that sugar prices would continue to rise, which led him to stockpile large quantities for a quick profit that could occur. Develop and support his company, but sugar prices fell instead, leaving Caleb Bradham with an expensive sugar stock, and after the Pepsi-Cola bankruptcy in 1923.1931, after several investors passed by Pepsi-Cola, which had been bought by the Loft Candy Company, Loft President Charles G. Goth struggled to make Pepsi a success during the height of the Great Depression, but was frustrated by an offer to sell.